In this video, we are going to create and release a new product and look at all the options. So we can go to product information management, released products. This product will automatically be released into this legal entity. We'll create a new product and look at the options. Now, product type, we are going to choose item, that's a physical product rather than a service. The subtype, product master, would be used for something like a t-shirt that comes in different size, color, style variations. We are going to stick with product, which would be a uniquely configured item such as a washing machine. We're going to enter a product number and we're going to call it BoxBot and when we enter this it will auto fill the search name and also the company specific identification which we can change if necessary. The retail category we have some preset category hierarchies which of course we can change or enter new ones. We're going to just use an existing hierarchy for now and here we have the possibility to apply a predefined template to auto fill the rest of the information here. We are going to do this manually and we're going to look at each of these items in turn. First the item model group which the product is assigned to and determines how items are controlled and handled on receipt and issue. Their settings also determine how we calculate the consumption of an item. So we are going to choose the first in first out model and then look in more detail at this option. We can create or modify item model groups by going to stock management. This might be inventory management, depending on the version of Dynamics 365 you're using. Setup, stock or inventory, and item model groups. This is the one we're using. And all of these options we will consider in more detail in another video. Next, we need to select an item group which will define the ledger accounts and how the financial information will be reported. We're going to choose the consumable products and have a look at these options. Item groups can be created or modified by again going to stock management, set up stock item groups. And here we can edit existing groups and we can specify exactly how items will be reported. Next, we'll look at our inventory dimension groups, storage dimension and tracking dimension groups. These determine how a product is stored and drawn from inventory. A product can be created without inventory dimensions, but cannot be applied on a transaction line unless a storage dimension group and a tracking dimension group are associated with it. So we'll choose site and warehouse and we'll look at more detail. Our storage dimensions we will find back in product information management, setup, dimensions and variant groups, storage dimension groups. And here we can create new or modify. If we want the particular dimension to apply in this group, it must be active. And for example, if we select four purchase prices, this allows us to use it as a criterion in trade agreements to specify a different purchase price at each site. The rest of these options we'll look at in another video. Now we'll look at our tracking dimension group. And for this, we'll choose batch physical inventory, and we'll look at this in more detail. For our tracking dimension groups, again, we go to setup and tracking dimension groups. Serial and batch numbers 
are optional, but they need to be active here if we want to use them for a product assigned to this tracking dimension group. Selecting active in the sales process only allows serial numbers to be tracked at the time of sales as opposed to the inventory process. The other options we'll look at in another video. Okay, so we'll leave the other options for now and we'll create our product. And here we have our new product created. It's released automatically to this legal entity. If we want to release it into other legal entities, we'll go to products and then we'll find our new product. And release products and then we can choose which legal entities to release into by following the wizard we'll just choose this one and this summarizes our products we're going to release and finish